name is Sally, and this is going to be your love reading from the 1st of March to the 10th of March 2023. Okay, let's begin with your reading. Spirit of Truth, Light, and Wisdom, welcome you here for Taros, their love reading from the 1st to the 10th of March 2023. Taros, love reading from the 1st to 10th of March 2023. Collective Energy, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for Taros. Yeah, love reading from the 1st to 10th of March 2023. Tarot's love reading from the 1st to the 10th of March 2023 for Tarot. For Tarot's. Tarot's love reading 1st to the 10th of March 2023. Overall energy, you have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Let's see what is in your tarot card. For Taros, your yeah, love reading from the 1st to the 10th of March 2023. Taros, love reading from the 1st to 10th of March 2023. Tarot's love reading from the 1st to 10th of March 2023. Tarot's love reading 1st to 10th of March 2023. Tarot's love reading 1st to 10th of March 2023. Tarot's love reading 1st to the 10th of March 2023. Tarot's love reading, 1st to 10th of March, 2023. All right, Tarot, let's see. You have a guided message here, and it says karma. Let's see the message behind karma. It says someone from the past three emerges in your life. This gives you the opportunity to handle things differently than you did before. Stand firmly in your power yet stand also in the light of love. The universe is presenting you with a fresh opportunity to clear away any lingering karma linked to this relationship, okay? Let's see what is in your oracle card. You have reconciliation. You have what waiting for. You have express your love. And you have trust, okay? Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Someone from the past emerges in your life. Hmm. Okay, Tyros. Let's see what is in your tarot card. So this person could be a fire sign. There is Leo Sagittarius for some of you coming out strongly because that's your overall energy. They are coming with an apology. This person could be also a younger water sign person, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person is coming with an apology. They are coming to apologize to you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well. They will be making you an offer for the both of you to reunite back together. Apology and an offer coming for you guys. Let's see what is in the rest of your cards. You have the Queen of Sword. You have the Strength. You have the Hangman. You have the Seven of Pentacles. Taros, I feel your energy. Some of you have been waiting for this, okay? You have been waiting. I feel the energy of waiting here. Some of you have been waiting for this. But the issue here is can you trust this person? After everything that's happened, would you still trust them? Because I see this person will make 
some kind of sacrifice in order for the both of you to come back together. For some of you, the sacrifice will be them mending their ways, trying to be a better person, go to rehab, you know, try to come um, clean with whatever it is they have been doing in the past that they have been hiding. They will want to make this work with you. But I see, Tara, some of you will have doubt about this person. So would you be able to trust them? That is where the problem is. We have the Nine of Cups. This reconciliation will make some of you very happy and at the same time it's going to keep some of you on the edge. Like you'll be thinking, yeah, this person is back, but are they for real? Will they do the right thing? What's their purpose of coming back? So this person returning into your life is going to come with a lot of um, thinking and questioning. We have the Nine of Pentacles. They will have to leave someone, Taros. This person will leave someone to come be with you. For some of you, this person could be with someone else right now. But I see that they will leave a situation to come be with you. So what is their intention of returning though? Let's see. We have the Five of Pentacles, the World. The Ace of Cups and the Five of Cups. So this person could be any sign. Any sign. Any sign you're connecting to because I'm seeing all signs here. So Taros, you have been looking forward to a new beginning. You have been waiting for someone new. You have been patient. You have done all the work. You have done the healing. You've been focusing on yourself and you're waiting for someone to you know share your life with and at the same time you are not waiting like you're moving forward but you are still hoping for someone to come along okay so i see this person coming back your way so no new love here i'm not seeing new love so you're still connecting to past energies okay so I feel this will be an opportunity for you to clear any lingering karma link to this relationship like your um, guided message truly said, okay? If there is anything with this person, some of you, I feel um, this is for you just to gain closure. This person coming back is going to bring a lot of closure for some of you here, I feel. Because when this person do return, so many questions is going to be on your mind. And I feel here, for some of you, you'll be finding out that you don't really want this person anymore. When they do come back, you will realize that you don't really want this relationship. You will realize that you want something new. And for them, I feel like there's an opportunity to do the right thing for the first time, okay? To do the right thing by you for the very first time. But I feel, so, Scorpio, some of you, it's going to be like a mixed feelings when this person do return. You're going to be happy and at the same time, you're going to be confused. What is this person's intention? Can I trust them? Are they coming to play me again? Is this going to be business as usual? So it's going to bring about a lot of confusion. Meanwhile, let's clarify to get more insight. Why is the Queen of Sword here for Scorpio? Sorry. Why is the Queen of Sword here for Tarot? Some of you could be connecting to a Scorpio. We have here the Queen of Cups. Yeah, I felt that energy. Could be connecting to a Scorpio. This person loves you. This person do loves you. And they have been thinking about you a lot. They have been thinking about you so much. They do love you. Why is the strength here for Taros? We have here the Three of Swords. I see pain in this situation, Taros. I see pain. But someone, this person will mend that broken heart, okay? They will try to mend the broken heart. They will try to undo the damage that they have caused, okay? They will try to make things right by you. Why is the hangman here for Scorpios? We have here the sun. So I'm seeing Leo, Pisces energy coming through strongly here. So if you're dealing with a Leo or a Pisces person, 
this person will put whatever relationship they have aside to come be with you because you make them happy why is the seven of pentacles here for taurus we have the nine of swords taurus i see worry on your mind okay like i said this person returning back is going to put you on the edge like you're going to be so worried okay it's going to be like a mixed feelings. You're happy and at the same time you're worried because you don't know what this person's intention is. So for some of you, this person loves you and they want to do right by you. Okay? They want to apologize and make things right with you. Why is the Nine of Cups here for Taurus? We have the Five of Wands. Yeah. The same energy coming through here. So some of you, you'll be happy but at the same time you will be confused like there is this feeling where you'll be feeling like are they for real should i trust them so trusting this person is going to be difficult for you yeah we have the six of cups but well, they are coming back anyway why is the ace of sorry yeah why is the ace of sword here for taros we have the king of cups this person is in love with you taros they they do love you they do love you. For some of them, I feel like they are realizing this um, after the time of separation between the both of you. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? For Taurus. We have the star here. I feel the theme of your reading, the highlight of your reading, is someone returning back into your life. Because it's just all over here. It's as clear as day and very easy, simple to read, okay? It's not... Um, an energy that is clouded. The energy is just straight to the point. Why is the moon here for Taurus? We have the magician. Which is a Gemini energy and Pisces energy coming through here. Okay. We have the three of pentacles. Yeah, they want to work on this. They want to do, make things right with you. We have the eight of pentacles. They want a first time. Why is the five of pentacles here for Taurus? We have the king of sword. We have um like three counterparts here: the queen of cups and the king of cups, the king of wands, the queen of wands, the king of sword, and the queen of sword. So this person, they feel like you are just the one for them. Okay, they feel like you are the one for them. No one compares to you, Taurus. Why is the word here for Taurus? We have the fourth pentacles. Taurus, you are going to be a bit held back from this person, okay? They are going to feel your energy deeply. You are going to be very cold towards this person. But because you will be trying to um, figure out why this person is returning and where, why are they being so expressive with their feelings and being so nice. You will feel like this person has something up their sleeves, okay? We have the four of swords here. Yeah? So there could be no communication right now with you and this person. Why is the ace of cups here for Taurus? We have the six of wands. Yeah, they will try to win you back. Why is the five of cups here for Taurus? We have the eight of cups here. Yeah? This person, this is... um. You never um, appreciate what you have until you lose it. You never miss the water until it's gone. This is the situation with this person. I feel like immediately they lost you and they knew that they have lost you for good. Then they begin to appreciate you, okay? So your overall energy says um, engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. This, is, this means that this person is um, um, coming back to your life. So I feel it's going to be a new face with this person, but it's going to be like, a mixed feelings for you guys, Taros. A feeling of happiness, anxiety as well. Thinking about what is going on. Because this person will be coming back as a different person. And I feel that will throw you off guard, okay? You will always feel like this person is up to something. But I feel you, some of you, you need to trust this person. Because it says this situation is calling for you to have faith, okay? Trust and go with the flow. But don't let your guard down, though. <laughs> all right Taros, this is all i have for you thank you for your love and support personal reading personal guidance information for that will be in the description but i'll see you in my next video bye and take care